This is my watercolor response to Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 2, Episode 2. I chose to paint Elena Kennedy, who is a lawyer. There were three other models, but this is the one I chose. Let's get started. All right, here she is. This is a screenshot from the program, so if you want to paint your own, just grab this and get started. Watercolorists need to be represented, not on this program necessarily, but in the world. So this is speeded up 20 times as fast as I usually work. I generally get these things done in about 40 minutes. So I mapped out, instead of using masking fluid, I put in a light color so I know not to paint over those lightest spots. Then I get busy. Now I'm putting in my darks. After I put in my darks, I find various mid-tones that are going to be the skin colors. And I look through my value finder to make sure that they're all the same value. I want all these colors to be approximately the same value because I have my lights mapped out. I'm not going to drive over those. I have my darks mapped out, so nothing can be as dark as the darkest darks I already put in. So everything else needs to be not the same color, but the same value, meaning the same darkness or lightness. I can tip it to being lighter by adding some yellow. I can tip it darker into by adding some blues, for example. But I'm going to stay in a certain range. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I'm working on Arsh paper. It's an 8 by 8 painting. I could never enter the actual program because I just I just don't work as slowly as they work. They, they take four hours to do the piece that they do. That would take me forever. Uh, I mean, it would be impossible. The background was pretend clouds, so I decided to stick with that. It also works really well because there's so many oranges and reds in the skin tones, and of course the blue is going to set that off nicely. As you can see, my test dabs on that paper are gaining, gaining, and gaining because I'm looking at them all the time. I don't bring the value finder out that much because at this point I usually can see the value without using the value finder, but every once in a while I have to pull it up if I'm not sure. So there's my final piece, and I walked away. It's always good to walk away for a while and then come back and get an impression. And I thought, you know what? I didn't quite get it. So I went back in and uh, did, did a little tweak or two. It was just one minor stroke or another. I don't remember what it was. So that is my watercolor response. You can go and look at the program. I did a recap, which is the video before this one. I'll try to link it, but I'm not sure I know how to do that. And if, like I said, if you want to play along, please do. I'm recapping the whole series. So um, I'm doing season two. I've recapped episode one. I've recapped episode two. And now I'm ready to go on to episode three. And I will pick one of those models and I will paint from them. They're the test dabs up closely. If you really, really squint your eyes, that's another way that you can determine value rather than using a value finder. But that gets tiring. So I like to use that red plexiglass from time to time. It really helps me out. And here's a close-up of my final response. And I hope you'll join me in this because it's, it's really fun to do. And the stakes are low. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody knows. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. And please join my YouTube channel if you would. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.